Hello YouTube, I'm Vince White. I am an employment attorney on this channel. We answer publicly posted questions from YouTube users getting folks the answer they need from an employment attorney. We have a question here from Den the Artist. But before I read you the question from Den the Artist, I must tell you to like, subscribe, comment down below. It helps me to help more people just like you. All right, uh, getting serious. Den the Artist asked us, I have a racial discrimination charge against my former employer. I'm sorry you experienced that. The EEOC, so the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission, is offering mediation. Great. I hope that your employer agrees to that. My attorney is asking for 40% of any possible reward in this case. Is this normal for attorneys to ask this much? By asking for this amount, does she or he think this case is winnable for a large payout? I have very strong evidence in this case. I was fired after going to HR about the complaint. Thank you for your helpful videos. Thank you. I'm really glad the videos are helpful. That makes me really happy. Okay, so in this field, 40% is not uncommon. It's quite common, actually. In this field, you'll find firms as cheap as 25% and as high as 50%. I'm aware of at least one firm, maybe two, that I've seen charge 50%. 50% makes me very uncomfortable. When firms go over 40%, it makes me very uncomfortable, generally speaking. But I personally don't have any problem with 40%. Uh, this is complex litigation. If a personal injury attorney, and I'm not mocking personal injury attorneys, but if a personal injury attorney is getting a third and they have much, much higher valuations on many of their cases and they do a fraction of the work, a fraction of the work that an employment attorney does on a case, then I have no problem with employment attorneys charging 40%. I think that's certainly reasonable. Devil's always in the details. So, you know, the other terms of your retainer, what else is going on there, you know, it's always meaningful. But generally speaking, 40% does not drive me crazy. There's parts of the country where that is absolutely not common. There's parts of the country where that may not even be legal. Um, but generally speaking, that is very common in New York. Um, it's very common in uh, the larger municipal areas, right? Um, and generally speaking, if you if you see a firm with a really low percentage, I wonder what's going on there. Um, why is their percentage so low? Are they having trouble getting clients? Like what's, what's going on? Um, maybe there's really good people, but that's often not the case. So just pay attention to that. 40% doesn't bother me at all. Listen, if you can get a really good firm to work at 28%, do it. Do it. That's incredible. What a deal, right? But a lot of the firms who are under a third, why? What's going on there? Are they trying to get into the field? Are they desperate for clients? Are they not really that experienced in the field? Like, What would drive their um, percentage down so low? I, it raises questions, right? And now someone's going to jump in the comments and be like, Vince, you're garbage, blah, blah, blah. You should tell firms they only take $2 per case. Okay. Yeah. Um, listen, not easy. Not easy job. A lot of work goes in these cases. Incredible investment in terms of time and money goes in these cases. I will not be uh, deriding or degrading attorneys who uh, structure their fees in a way that their practice can actually be profitable. The firms don't make money, the firms don't exist. And the firms don't exist, there's no one to help anyone with an employment discrimination or a sexual harassment case. And we're back to where we started. Nonprofits don't cut it. Private firms winning cases have, have significantly more impact. And so profitability matters. This is a capitalist country. And capitalism has reduced more human suffering than any other system ever devised by humanity, as far as I'm aware. So, yeah, I'm fine with 40%. It doesn't bother me one bit, as long as that attorney is good and does good work for you. Good luck. Like, subscribe, comment down below. Helps me to help more people just like you.